This is Erasmus TV today about how do students experience online education and all university related events are cancelled till August. Good morning and good to have you back with us at Erasmus TV. Joining us on Skype is Fashida Safar. She is an innovation officer and she is, exper and she is collecting students' experiences on online education. But first, the updates on university policy. Here for that is Hans Smit. Good morning. Good morning. All university-related events are cancelled till August. Why not till June 1st, like the government is telling us? Good question, but uh, events in July or August, or June, July, August, have to be prepared in April, May. Mm -hmm. And I think you hopefully agree with me that our people are very busy with other things now. So it's, it's a matter of setting priorities. And, uh, and if we see now that people have to stay at home uh, until at least the 28th of April and maybe later, they have a heavy burden and I'm very proud of all our employees, uh, what they do. So no events, that's it, until the 1st of August. Yeah, and then we have to ask, because August 17, the Eureka Week, the Introduction Week, is uh, starting. So yeah. it's close to the 1st of August. Should well, upcoming students, uh, freshmen, prepare themselves mentally for a disappointment there? No, the, the, the Eureka Week will go on, definitely. Uh, a lot must happen if that uh, doesn't work. Uh, uh, the government should forbid it, I would say, but nevertheless, we are preparing the Eureka Week and it will go on because also this moment uh, we have campaigns to, to invite all our uh, students to subscribe for the Bachelor and Master Education. So definitely the Eureka Week will go on. Yes. And of course, we'll be talking today also on uh, online education and students take on. We brought with us a little meme, er meme posted recently. I think it's a little gem. Um, you see the um, uh, prices of uh, streaming services. So Netflix, Netflix is so many euros a month. Disney Plus is so many euros a month. And for the university, I have to pay more than 2000. So then comparing the university with an expensive streaming service, how does that make you feel? Well, uh, I think we all do realize that this crisis will cost the university extra money. And I think uh, you have to talk in millions, but uh, it's necessary. We are here for education for our students, uh, so that's important. And if it's reasonable, we will spend that extra money definitely. Yes. So, uh, in a bit, we will talk with Safida, uh, Safida on uh, students' experiences, but we also got some videos of how students feel about it. Let's take a little look at that. What mij opvalt aan online onderwijs is dat uh, de werkdruk in het begin best wel hoog was. En ook het contact met je medestudenten mis je natuurlijk. Maar ja, al met al wendt het ook eigenlijk allemaal best wel snel. De enige ervaring die ik tot nu toe echt heb meegemaakt is dat ik om 9 uur klaar zat om een college te volgen. En dat hij toen nog niet online stond, terwijl dat wel in het rooster was aangegeven. Maar verder ben ik heel positief over de professoren, hoe ze dit voor elkaar hebben kunnen krijgen in zulke korte tijd. It has been kind of less interactive and we cover less material in class than usually and self-discipline plays a very important role here. The online lectures are always uh, difficult for me to find because they are not published on Canvas but on a different website. And once I enter that website, I either get an arrow page or I get all the access to all the lectures from the whole university and every time it takes a lot of time for me to search for the right lecture. My experience with lectures is that it's best well really good. In the beginning it was really stroefy, but later have the docenten zich aangepast so that voor onze studenten fijner is. Mijn ervaring met online onderwijs is eigenlijk best wel positief. Uh, want je kan gewoon lekker in je pyjama je les volgen zonder dat iemand het ziet. Dus dat is echt top. Um, alleen soms is het wel een beetje ongemakkelijk als bijvoorbeeld een student vergeet om zijn microfoon uit te zetten. En je hoort dan de gesprekken die hij met zijn moeder voert. Uh, maar verder vind ik het echt prima gaan. Yeah, uh, Safida, you just started collecting the data uh, for students uh, and co combining that with what we just saw in the video, uh, what are the first reactions students give you? Hi, good morning. Um, I'm, I'm sorry to correct you all. My name is Farshida, not Safida, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, what is uh, my first general comment and outline? Well, what I see from the 
stories I get back is that a lot of students are missing the interaction, they're missing the opportunity to discuss and debate with their classmates, and they're also missing a social component. Um, and some of them are actually missing a bit of structure or a bit of routine during the day. So that's, um, that's as, well, that's my first general um, pattern that I've identified, but it's not enough yet to draw real big conclusions. Now, students can still find you if they have something to say or to do. Um, we will show your email address several times here. Um, but why did you start collecting this data? Um, well, I've been involved in educational edu innovation for years. Um, um, I, basically, that's what I've been doing since I started working here um, next to teaching back at law school in, back in um, 2012. Um, but what I see now is a uh, unique opportunity for the university to collect learning and user experiences. Um, usually you don't get a situation like this where you can firsthand collect stories, collect experiences from your uh, users, well, basically your students, um, to tell you how um, online education is perceived. So now we have this situation where we can actually, actually ask the student, how are you doing? What is your um, experience with this new form of education? And is there something that we can do better? So that's why I started collecting it. At the same time, I've also, well, I work a lot with students within my project. And what I've noticed that some of these students just need an outlet. Um, they just need someone that they can, you know, write their story to and complain or, um, you know, give out their general frustrations, which is fine. And what are so, you going to do with the data? Are you going to use it yourself or are you, well, making a report and giving it to Hans, for example? Um, yes, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do with the data, first I thought uh, it would be great to share these stories online so that other students know, hey, you're not alone. Um, these feelings that you have, it's pretty normal. Everybody's dealing with it. So you're, it's it's okay to you know feel a bit insecure, to feel a bit frustrated about the situation, and to miss you know the interaction with your classmates and everything. Um, but then some students, in their stories, I ask them, do you you know can you give me ex your explicit consent to share it? And a lot of students don't feel comfortable with that. So I'm not going to share the stories online. Uh, what I am going to do, however, is I'm going to collect all these stories and then. You know, try to find uh, patterns, try to find um, something, you know, that is more commonly shared by all the students and then maybe see if we can de develop a new form of education out of all of these experiences. Thank you, Farshida. Um, Hans, what is your first feeling on this, uh, on well, the reactions of students? Well, the reactions are in general quite positive, so I'm very happy with it. And a second remark is that I'm also very happy about uh, the effort Fashida is making about gathering information because there is a life after the crisis. <laughs> eh? Hopefully. And that means that, that we have to think about more a way of blended learning. So uh, uh, find a balance between online and offline. Because also I have the experience, and I hear from the employees too, to be on the campus, to see your colleagues, etc., is very important uh, for for feeling well, decision making, etc., etc. Uh, like the students feel themselves too. So this information is very important for us to make up our mind and to decide about uh, what we do as university after the crisis. Yes. So the message is clear. We miss you all, employees and students, but we hope that you will be back here on Monday with the next episode of Erasmus TV. Thank you all for watching.